Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday the 27th of February 2023. Today was a variety day because today, rather than doing a lot of the kind of established chill days that I've been doing, today we mixed it up and we actually had Like a Dragon Ishin as the main gameplay stream, which I wasn't actually planning on doing. It just kind of worked out like that. And tonight, as a one-off random stream, we did Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, okay? But also, we did do a Level 1 podcast. I had a good variety of stuff, so let's talk. First of all, on the Level 1 podcast, I kind of gave a cumulative update of everything going on over on DSP Reacts, including the fact that YouTube did actually monetize a lot of the videos that had been flagged for demonetization, which is good. Of course, they did it after most people had already watched them, so that's not so good. Um, I also talked about a few uh, stories, current events, and things like that, and we added some chill Q&A. So overall, it was a pretty good show. Give it a look. Um, then, Like a Dragon Ishin. I'll be very honest with you. It does not work as a daytime stream. My daytime viewers are looking for bigger mainstream releases. They're looking for games that have a little bit of action or narrative development. In the case of Like a Dragon Nation, I 1 million percent believe this is a perfect stream for late nights. Case in point, when I played it the other night late night, it did much better than it actually did today. We actually had more viewers the other night on a late night stream than we had during the main gameplay stream today. And today we had total story developments and all kinds of interesting stuff going on. It's just that kind of game that people want to come and have a relaxing, interactive night rather than a main day daytime stream of it. So, we had good progress in the game. I'm actually getting better combat stuff unlocked, good side stuff unlocked, and literally we barely retained 200 viewers. The engagement was very bad. People were barely talking with me. A lot of people that, that said the chat was completely dead. And yes, the support was also bad. So, it was basically an all-around very, very slow stream. Okay? Um... Call of Duty tonight. It was all right. Let me put it that way. Some matches I was absolutely dominating when the connections were great. And other matches, the connections were absolute duty. And it was just not good, you know. Here's the difference. Oh, look, there's someone. I got the drop on them. Aim fire. Oh, look, I won. Oh, look, here's the next match. Oh, look, there's someone. Let me aim it for... Oh, I'm dead. I didn't even get to aim. Didn't even show the guy shooting me. I'm just dead. <laughs> oh. Or my favorite. Got the drop on him. Aim fire. Fill him with bullets. Character dances between the bullets like this and then just aims once and insta-kills you. That's par for the course for Call of Duty. That's what called they never fix their net code. So sometimes you get a good connection, sometimes you don't. When the skill-based matchmaking kicks in and they start matchmaking you with people who apparently are of your rank, what ends up happening is they don't have good connections to you. So the match sucks. Skill-based matchmaking fails because their net code is shit. If their net code was better, it would be better. But their net code sucks, therefore the skill-based matchmaking ruins the fun of the online gameplay. I still did well. I, I called in an attack chopper. You know, we had kill streaks going. It was fun. In general, it was all right. Of course, Call of Duty brings out the trolls, and I always know that. At the same time, there were some pretty good people chilling with me, and the support was all right. We did hit a tips goal. Uh, you know, it was pretty good. Now, overall today, not bad at all. However, tomorrow is the final day of February. Tomorrow is the absolute positive last chance for us to hit the members goal for February. We are less than 100 members away. But it's going to take a concerted effort from a group of individuals to show up and either become members, renew memberships, or gift memberships to the channel if you want to see that marathon event happen, which is the Retro Games Challenge in March. I would love to do this. I would like, I'm actually excited for it. I really want to play Ninja Gaiden again. I want to play Mega Man. I want to play Old School Street Fighter. I want to have a chill retro challenging day with you guys. But we have to hit the goal, and we are still not even there after all month talking about it. So tomorrow is literally the last hurrah for it. If we don't hit it, it's not the end of the world. But we had a discussion this morning on the Level 1 podcast about this. And the discussion is maybe there just shouldn't be goals anymore. Because right now, for example, I got a React channel. And on that React channel, by default, once a month we're going to do a big, uh, how do you say, a larger scale React to a documentary or a longer video or something like that. That used to be a goal reward here for members. But now that's kind of going to be given for free no matter what for that channel. So that's a goal that's already eliminated. Seems like you guys don't necessarily really like the marathons that much anymore. I mean, I don't think we got a single person this month who said, oh, I want to see this marathon happen. Let me go ahead and become a member because of it. You know, retrospectives are played out. We used to do them every once in a while back in the day, you know, three, four years ago. No one seems to want the retrospectives anymore. So I asked for feedback. What do you guys want to see for members goals? If you don't think that there's really anything worth it, then maybe we just won't do them. Maybe instead we'll say, here's the goal. If we hit it, great. I would love to hit it. But, you know, why talk about it every day? Why push for an event if people don't really care? 
I, you know, it's sad to say that because I don't like being a defeatist, all right? I don't. I want to feel positive about it. But this one, there were decent games. There was definitely reason to become a member, and people just weren't motivated to do it. However, people still supported the streams. People are supportive of the new channel, DSP Reacts. So overall, this is not the end of the world or anything too horrible. It's just, what can you do, right? Again, if you have feedback, and you know, leave me, let me know. Leave comments on this video. Show up on the streams. Let me know what you would like. For a member's goal that would actually maybe motivate you to become a member but you know outside of that maybe maybe members goals are, are played out maybe we just try to hit them and if we hit them we do but we don't tie them to any kind of a celebratory event and maybe every once in a while just for variety's sake we do a marathon anyway and we do a themed marathon for something special going on or something like that and we all look forward to it. we get hype right right so let's talk about it again but let me know your feedback okay guys tomorrow the absolute last day to hit it and see if we're going to do this marathon or not fair enough so what's tomorrow? Hogwarts Legacy on the first stream, and we are on the precipice of doing some major story developments, including a whole new class, and more Oblivion Chill as we continue on with the Dark Brotherhood quest line, which actually picked up and got really, really interesting. So I'm actually excited to play more Oblivion tomorrow night and see where the plot goes, okay? All right, guys, that's it. Thank you. Today was a good streaming day. Overall, I have still had a great time. I can't wait for tomorrow. Please have a good evening, and I hope to see you all for the final consecutive streaming day of the week the final streaming day of the month, and maybe the day when we finally hit that member's goal. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.